Hi, I'm Vanessa Packer, founder of Model Fit. We're here in our studio in New York City. I'm in my Model Fit Sweaty Betty collection, and I'm gonna take you through a 20 minute full body workout. What you need for this workout is three pound ankle weights and a Pilates ring. If you don't have either of those, it's okay. You can still do the workout. Listen to my cues and use your own body's resistance, and let's get started. So before we put our equipment on, we're gonna start with a dynamic stretch. You're gonna do these repetitions 10 times, and you wanna begin with your feet hips width apart. That was five, six. We always say that your body will, your eyes will go and your body will follow. So bring your eyes up as you do stretch. And then you're gonna alternate your side. Same stretch. And you really wanna feel it down the whole front of the body. out to the side. So you want to make sure that you're feeling it all the way across your body. So I put my hand here on the side of my abs, my oblique, so I can feel them stretching. And you also want to make sure that your heel is pressing against the ground. So you feel the stretch all the way up the back of your leg. Side. Sometimes it helps to feel where you want the stretch to be. So sometimes I put my hand on the side of my body because I want to feel the stretch along the side of my body. Our third stretch, we're gonna be leaning back and really stretching this whole front and side of the body and then bring it back to center. We're gonna do that 10 times. And you really wanna get your feet really firmly planted on the ground and your heel really firmly planted. This should feel really good um, and it'll really warm us up for the work we're gonna do today. That concludes our dynamic warm up. We're gonna put on our three pound ankle weights and grab our Pilates ring and get started. So we're gonna begin our full body workout with a Pilates ring and three pound ankle weights. If you don't have either of these at home, you can do it without. Just make sure you're always activating your muscles. So listen to my cues and follow along at home. So to begin, you're gonna have your feet hips width apart and your arms stretched out with the Pilates ring and you wanna make sure that your arms are activated. So if there's no Pilates ring, just keep your arms straight and act like there's a Pilates ring. So we're gonna begin with little feet and what's important with this is to keep the heels pressing on the ground. You wanna do this for about a minute. And you're gonna increase the speed as you warm up 
and you should feel the back of your leg activated and your core pulling in and your arms activated straight. So you're, it's really from head to toe, you're working the entire body. So while you're doing this, make sure that your shoulders are down. Oftentimes they creep up, like you don't wanna be like this, you wanna be shoulders down. So 30 seconds wide. And then you're gonna bring your feet in, do another 30 seconds. You should be getting warm. Sit back into your, into your legs, into your butt. Pull in your abs, activate your arms. You should feel this all over. So as you get faster, you're gonna go out and in. And then bring the feet in and do really fast little feet in. It looks funny, but it, it's actually hard. <laughs> And you do little jumps. You wanna really use your arms and your ab strength to pull the Pilates ring in. You don't want it to get up in your shoulders. Make sure to push your heels down when you come in and when you go out. And you wanna do this for about 20 reps and then see how you feel. You can always add more. Now we're gonna do little steps again, wide. Make sure to really sit into it. Chest up, arms down. You can increase the speed as we're coming towards a close. Last 30 seconds. Bring legs in one more time. Arms down, abs in. Heels down. Now you should be warm. So now we're gonna go through a series of model fit style lunges. Um, follow along, listen to my cues. We're gonna begin with our feet, hips width apart, arms stretched out. Again, if you have the Pilates ring, make sure to squeeze it. If you don't, make sure to act like you're squeezing it. So first we're gonna be on our left leg. So all the weights in your left leg, your right leg um, is just on your toe. A lot of your weight is just, this can be easily lifted. And we're gonna step out to the side, and we're gonna lunge into that hip, and then we're gonna step back with our toe, and we're gonna lunge back and do a little sit. So we're gonna do 15 of these. You really wanna keep your knee above your ankle so you're not putting any unneeded stress and weight into your joints.
So now we're going into the 15th one. We're gonna do little sits while squeezing the ring. So we wanna do this for 15 repetitions. And you're not doing full range of motion, you're just sitting right into that hip and into that, the back of your leg. Five more. And you're gonna bring your foot in and go back for your 15th on the back. And you're gonna stretch your arms out. You're gonna do 15 little sits. Make sure that your knee is over your ankle and you're using your abs to stabilize. Five more. Now we're gonna repeat everything on the other side. So same principles apply. You're gonna have all of your weight in your right foot and now your left foot's gonna be kind of the lighter one on your toe. And we're gonna step out and push out and then come in, step back. We're gonna do 15 of these as well. This is 10. So this is 14. Fifteen. We're gonna do our little sits here while squeezing the ring. We're gonna do fifteen of these. And then bring it in. And then you're gonna go back and do fifteen little lunges. Five more. So now beginning with your body facing forward, your feet hips width apart, you're gonna bring your right leg to your back diagonal. And you're gonna push forward and do a little sit. We're gonna do 15 of these. And you're gonna be up on your toe when you do these little sits. But keep your body facing forward, even though your leg's at the back diagonal. You have five more left. Two more. And on the last one, we're gonna do little sits into that back diagonal. So this time, instead of squeezing the ring in, we're squeezing it in towards our chest. 15 repetitions. Fourteen, fifteen. 
So now we're gonna do everything we just did on the other side. So begin with your feet hips width apart, step back to the back diagonal and push out. Bring your foot back. We're gonna do 15 of these and then 15 little sits once we get to the last one. And you have five more. Thirteen. Fourteen. And then we're going into the fifteenth. We're going to do little sits. You've got more. So now we're gonna do a one minute cardio burst to end our workout. We're gonna be doing jumps and when you press out with your Pilates ring, you're gonna go on a down diagonal and an up diagonal, almost like a V coming out of your chest. And you really wanna keep your abs activated throughout this entire thing. Really activate your core because it's as much a cardio workout as it is an ab workout. So let's begin. One minute done. So now we're gonna do the cool down portion of our workout. You wanna take your ankle weights off and move all of your equipment out of the way. This stretch is a take on the dynamic warm up. It's a dynamic stretch. So you're gonna begin with your feet hips width apart and you're gonna go out to the side and stretch into that hip and alternate. We're gonna do about 10 of these. And now you wanna bring your foot back on the back diagonal and you're gonna twist your body open. So make sure your feet are firmly planted on the ground and you wanna twist about 10 times and then we'll alternate sides. Come in and then do the other side. And come in, you wanna bring your arms across, really pull your shoulder down, feel that stretch in your neck, and then come on the other side, same thing. Really feel that stretch all along the side of your arm and your shoulder, and then come around, and then alternate. Mm, this should feel really good after the work we did. Oof, shake it out. Take a big breath in. <sighs> Let it out. Great work. I hope you enjoyed this full body model fit workout exclusive for Sweaty Betty. Um, to get the optimal results, do this workout three times a week. 
And don't forget to check out our exclusive collection with Sweaty Betty in stores and at sweatybetty.com. See you next time.